Firmino. Shakiri. Firmino. Hello, this is Sport Hub, and welcome to another Premier League video where we break down Liverpool's 3 1 win over United today at Anfield. Let's start with each team's starting lineups. Each team played a wacky 4 4 1 1. For Liverpool, Nathaniel Klein played right back to full in for the injured Trent Alexander Arnold. Ronaldo and Fabinho, who are usually holding mids, pushed up to center mid because of this formation. On the right was Mane, even though he usually plays left wing, and they squeezed Kite up at left mid. That was a really weird decision by Jurgen Klopp. Firmino occupied Cam, while Salah played up top as a striker. As for United, they played Bay and Lindelof as his center back, believe it or not. Right? Why would you experiment with the center backs considering the fact that Salah has been really deadly when giving a central role this season? Then, Darmian played at right back, which Dal usually occupies. He was right mid. These are two these are two weird formations and team selections by the managers, and some United fans who wanted Mourinho out were already unimpressed. Now, let's get on to the game. The tactics went accordingly to the game, so the first half was funky. There were some small chances here and there, but the first big event was Mane's goal in the 24th minute, which ended his six-game goal drought. It came from a superb Fabinho cross, but also poor man marking by Ashley Young. Mane brilliantly chested it before putting it in between De Gea's legs. At this point in the match, United were in their side of the field for a while, so can Liverpool be surprised? A bit after that, United developed some small chances. However, it was a big deal when Lingard scored, and his goal was completely avoidable. Lukaku's bad cross should have sent the ball in the hands of Allison, but when his hands were going towards the ground, the ball fell over his hands and right to Lingard. But even then, Allison still could have saved it. Throughout the game, Wijnaldum, Fabinho, and Kaite did an excellent job in securing the ball and getting it forward, something that somewhat changed the game. Shakiri came on in the 70th minute, and that changed the game. From a nice build-up play, Mane got the ball from outside the box, cut inside, and crossed it, and the ball deflected off Lindelof's legs, then De Gea's legs, and it flew southeast before Shakiri chased the ball and made a strong finish as the ball had a lovely return to the back of the net. Later, in the 79th minute, Liverpool had a decent chance, and Firmino did a back tilt to, to Salah. However, Salah couldn't get to it, but Shakiri chased it in time to score another screamer. This is a result of Klopp's slower build-ups. This season, 53% of Liverpool's goals have been in the first half, which is a heavy decline from past seasons. Klopp's detailed improvement in build-up plays has paid off. It was clear at this point that Liverpool won, and they killed off the game to secure the win. Generally, United were worse today in player performances. Mourinho's centre-back pairing didn't pay off, Young was below average, the midfield is iffy, and Lukaku was nowhere to be seen today. For Liverpool, the defence was okay, the midfield was amazing, and the attack held their own. Liverpool seriously looked like a title-winning team, especially since City stumped over Chelsea. Lastly, let's look at the stats. Liverpool had an astounding 36 shots. They kept the ball until they got to United territory, and the process happened a lot. Most shots came from outside of the box, which is something we haven't seen from Liverpool all season. Based on the chances, United definitely should have had more shots than just six. Eleven shots on target may seem great also, but a lot of these shots were just simple maintenance. This is one of the biggest ways Liverpool controlled the game. When you dominate possession, you get many chances. Out of those chances, teams can see more goals. Their midfield was amazing today. For the passing, I'm not too surprised. Both teams were able to rack up good chances. This stat should be one for United. The midfield needs more communication and some of their technical abilities have seen such a decline. Lastly, corners. Liverpool had 13 of them today. 13. Now, who takes them? Robertson does. He didn't put in a single good corner today, and all these corners should have led to another goal. Disappointing for Mandy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. What do you think about the wacky tactics both teams put in place? Can Liverpool win the league this season? What do Mandy need to work on the most? Don't forget to subscribe. This is Sport Hub, and I am out.